Alright, hello everybody. This is going to be my last video on, on Easter break, and this is also going to be my last battle pack for a while, since this is the last bad guy battle pack I have to review. Yay! <laughs> on to the bigger stuff, finally. So, right here I've got the Snowtrooper Battle Pack, Empire, um, so let's get started here, start off with the box. This is still in store, so you can still pick this up, it's ages 6 to 12, 8084, Snowtrooper Battle Pack, 74 pieces, eh, average piece count, that's pretty good. Um, random info, oh look, the actual size, let's check it out, oh whoa. The actual size thing is totally bigger. Blame. Um, you can't be three years old or younger. All the normal stuff you would find on the side of a box. Let's move to the back. Um, got the Snowtrooper Battle Pack and the what's that called? The like the Rebel Battle, the Rebel Snowtrooper Battle Pack. I'm doing battle. I'm not gonna get this set because it's stupid. <laughs> I watched the pizza movies review for it and I was like, I'm never getting that set because it's just junky. It's junk. It's stupid. So, here's the minifigures. A AT AT Driver, cool figure. Two snowtroopers, they're awesome. And a Imperial Officer, snow style. So, yep, that's pretty cool. Done with the box. Alright. Back onto the Stay closed, okay. On to the actual set. Here are the figures. Let's start over here. This is a snow trooper. Um, in the set you get three blasters and a uh, blaster rifle. The two other blasters are right there. And there's the blaster rifle. Alright, he has a blaster. Here's the actual just plain old snow trooper. See the helmet? Um, here. Easier to focus when there's not much in the background for the camera. Um, there we go. He's got a, the backpack and the helmet are attached. Like so. And yet you do need a black head underneath for it to work. Or if you're, I don't know, making a galactic marine in green. A green helmet. I mean a green head underneath. You can do that. I'm actually kind of working on that right now. I've got some galactic marine decals. I just don't have the right, like, pieces to do it. Like, I need red torsos and stuff. And I'm going to paint the helmet. So, yeah. They will be Galactic Marines. And there, I also have Coruscant Guard decals. So, there will be some Coruscant Guards. Um, so, yeah. There are going to be some custom reviews also. Along with the Lego sets and stop motion. Um, here's the torso. Very accurate to the movie. You could also just use these as Galactic Marines. I mean, they look pretty much exactly the same. They're just white. You can just say they're white versions. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this figure. And the other is exactly the same. And here we have the AT-AT -AT Driver. Very cool figure. There we go. He's got some cool Imperial markings on his helmet. Nice black pointy stripe. Um, some cool stuff going on with this helmet. I like this helmet. Except for how, like, back here, it doesn't cover the back of his head, like, at all. See how much head of it, how much of his head is showing. I suppose that's kind of cool if you're doing stop motion. You can, like, have a scene of him looking up. There, that's cool. That's cool, actually. I've never noticed that. I didn't even know you could do that. So yeah, now you can have your figures look up with the helmet like that. That's kind of cool. That's That was a revelation for me as well as for you. <laughs> so, yeah. Here's the torso. Nice, more air pipes. I don't know why you'd need those if you're driving a vehicle, but... Whatever. Plus some little controls. So what happens if you press the wrong control? Will you, like, suffocate or something? I don't know. Um, gray arms. Gray legs. Here's the back, nice back printing. Um, there is no back printing on the snow troopers, which is why I want to keep the backpacks on them, along with the helmets. So, nice back printing on this figure, though. Nice back printing. So, nice detail. 
Next is the Imperial Officer. Oh, nuts. Okay, this guy is supposed to have binoculars, but I forgot them. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, he's supposed to have binoculars. They go in his hand like that, and he can just, like, look ominously into the distance with his binoculars. So, yeah. So here's the figure. He has a cool, sort of Darth Vader-looking helmet. Eh. It's kind of cool. There you go. It's like a light bluish gray. Comes off. No hair. <laughs> you could put hair on him, but... Stick that back on. Alright. Yes. And there's the torso. The same as the Snowtrooper torso, except for it's gray. And he's got like... Is that his rank? I'm not sure. Are those, like, blue and red things his rank? Like, that's his medals? Something like that. And everything else is gray. And he has nice back printing. He only has armor on the upper, ha upper half of his back. So if he gets hit down there, he's still paralyzed for life. So he only has armor on the upper half of his back. Um, but it's still nice detail. Good job, Lego. Nice figure. Very nice. Alright, so, now we move on to the rest of the set, which is the vehicles slash weapons. Alright, this is a missile platform. It, it just, it's just a plate, so it'll stick down to a base plate if you really want it to. Um, this missile shooting um, missile launcher will rotate a whole 360. Um, it's got a nice gear piece right there, so that you can just go it. Although gravity has a pretty big effect, so it's either all the way down or all the way up. You have to pretty much choose, or there isn't really an in-between. Yeah, there's no in-between. Um, there's some red controls right there. What you do is you seat the AAT driver there and he's launching the missiles and right here you've got like a radar station you've got some ra a radar dish and a little thing to hold your guns and this is really cool this is a really nice printed piece it's an actual radar station <laughs> it's got the radar thing with the green and the thing and all that good stuff and you want to put your officer right there with his like hand on the controls or something if you want to so yeah, and normally he'd have his binoculars and he'd be looking for enemies to shoot missiles at. So yeah. And let's check out that flick fire here. Look how long this missile is. That's a cool missile. You've even got the fins. It's even got fins. But yeah, that's a cool missile. Um, I'm not sure how it... I don't, I don't remember how well it does flick fire wise. Um, if I can get it back on the platform, there we go. Um, here we go. I'm going to stick it down to the base plate so that it's nice and sturdy when I flick it. Um, let's just go straight on. There we go. It kind of came out. It kind of went off in the opposite direction that I was wanting it to. Here, let's try it one more time. Err. Fail. There we go. That was a good one. So... That's pretty much it for that part of this set. Getting it back off will be the tricky part. Ow, that's my finger. Ugh, this is what I hate about. Okay. Okay. Putting that back off its side over there. And one of these snowtroopers doesn't have anything to do. He's just standing there shooting stuff. And you have a white speeder. This is pretty much exactly like the speeder that you'd get on like the Endor set, that new Endor set. Well, not really new. I don't even know if it's out anymore. But the Endor battle set or the gunship. I'm pretty sure you get a brown version of this in both those. But since this is Hoth and it's snowy, you get a white version. So here is how this works. Put the figure in right there. Its legs go on either side of that thing in the middle. Stick his arms up. And the beauty of the vertical controls 
you don't have to bend his hands or anything the controls just snap right in right away so that's really nice I think he looks pretty cool the only downside is there really isn't any gun on this speeder there's no weapon so all I can do is like run people over I guess he just gets to ram people and he's got the two like skis there for in the snow sliding on the base plate so so yeah that pretty much wraps it up for this set um hope you enjoyed this was a um stop motion studios review um the next review is the republic attack shuttle so be looking forward to that that'll be coming along this week here um this is my last video being uploaded on Easter break, and this is the last battle pack I'll be doing for a while, so stay tuned for more reviews of the bigger stuff, like the new droid carrier, the AAT, the MTT, and the turbo tank will be coming eventually. Um, turbo tank will be coming before the MTT, but, but yeah, pretty excited, so rate, comment, subscribe. I need subscriptions, so subscribe, and this is Stop Motion Studios. Peace out.